morning, everybody. Excited to start streaming. I know this is kind of a random game to start with, but, uh... I figured I wanted to stream something that, like, not a lot of... Not a ton of people were playing. I can almost guarantee no one else is streaming this right now. And it's also, like, one of those games that's just lives on my backlog that I've always wanted to play. So, hey, you know. Why not a better time than now? Thank you, Leo Vader, for watching, for tuning in, for giving me encouraging words. I appreciate it. All right, so obviously I'm going to start from the beginning. I want to try to play through the whole thing. I guess, like, according to HowLongToBeat.com, the game's about five hours. So I figure maybe if I play every day this week, maybe a little of the next week, I can get through the whole thing with your help. Uh, I definitely want help from people on the internet. I wonder if I need to watch all that stuff at the beginning. Um, like, am I going to get that if I do new game here? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Also, let me know in the chat levels and stuff like that. Um, if you want me to turn down the game audio or the uh, spoken audio, please let me know. Alright, so we're going to do new game. I'm just going to go easy, just because I want to see the story, I just want to get through it. So... I don't think there's a ghost babble category on Twitch that I'm aware of. And I think I'm going to read everything out loud. Work with Delta Force to rescue the researchers and destroy Metal Gear. Orders will be delayed or relayed via the codec. My frequency is 140.85. Call if anything turns up. To use the codec, just press select and then start. We'll be in touch. When a call sounds, push the select button to receive. Raise me on frequency 140.96 when you need to save. First, get to the front of the fortress. Cut northward through the jungle. You're in. Roger that. Okay. I have a cat that's, like, investigating what's going on here. I'll just let her be. She'll be alright, probably. So I want to head north, I guess, right? Do you think? Do I need to write down the frequencies, or is it is it going to save everything? It sounds like the stream went down for a second. Apologies for that. No vision cones. I mean, I guess I don't... I'm not like a no-kill-run Metal Gear kind of guy, but at this point it's easier to just avoid everything, right? So this guy I think I should take out, right? Oh, I got a rash. Oh. Well, maybe I should be... Taking everybody out if I'm getting like rations and stuff. I don't know. Okay. Equip with B button. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, that's confusing. Okay, so I have a gun now. Gosh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna can I unequip it? Okay, because I'm like fine just punching people at the moment. Oh, did it. <laughs> Dan Reichert actually, he sent me a message basically warning me that this game can be frustrating. Um, so, I was, I was sort of second guessing myself when he sent that message. Um, but, I don't know. I'll probably be fine. I'm playing on an easy. Because, like I said, I just kind of want to see the game through to the end. I want to see what the story is like and all that stuff. I'm not really trying to, like, necessarily get the, like, hardcore stealth experience. Okay, I guess I should kill everybody if they're all gonna drop stuff. That seems smart, right? I'll just leave behind. It should be fine. Um, a clever cadaver. Is that? Are those really frequencies from Metal Gear Solid One? I certainly don't have them memorized. It's been a while. I mean, I probably did when I was like super into the game at the time.
Uh, nothing from that guy. Is there even anything over? Because I'm just supposed to head north. Oh, can I go under here? Mm, that's disappointing. <laughs> it's disappointing that I can't go under the truck. What are you? My pouches are full. That's how it goes. Okay. I think I took everybody out. No. Oh, they refresh, but they come back. Okay, that's good to know. I really like this. I don't. I can't imagine. It's, it's, I don't know. Maybe there's lots of gameplay of you leaning against walls, but I just like that it's integrated into the Game Boy game. It's impressive. Oh, I feel asleep. Um, T1M, 3COP, I mean, I think it's a lot like the NES game, which, those two I have not beaten. I have not played those. I've played them, like, a little bit, like, like most people. I've probably played, like, the first hour here and there, you know, but not extensively. But I think this is, you know, more of a successor to those games than, you know, Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2 and stuff. My understanding is Kojima wrote, like, the, you know, like, the story and stuff. Oh, can I? Okay, Tall Grass, look at that. Tall Grass is, like, so popular right now. This game, this was under the curve. Hello, everybody. Hello, ODD Low. I guess I just keep heading north. This map in the top right is kind of useless at this point when you're not, like, walking through a maze. Can I get down to the mud? Oh, okay. I have an oxygen level. Alright. Okay, that dude's walking around in the mud. He's fine. <laughs> not solid pillow. I just don't want to shoot my gun. sure that we got, um, oh boy, let's see, okay, cool, 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 alright, just checking on the stream, levels are good, I hope, you guys would let me know if things were too loud or not loud enough, thank you, Septa, Septopus85, I'm happy to be doing it, I, I'm excited to do streaming, obviously I did a lot of streaming with Game Informer, but never on my own from home. Is this? Okay. I can make it, right? Alright. I can't believe that dude didn't see me. Let's <laughs> see. It, it seems like he really should see me. Alright, here we go. Uh, Kane2270. I Oh, rank terrible? Why? Because I killed people? I wasn't found at all. I didn't use any rations. Was it because I killed people? <laughs> okay. Alright, fine, terrible, I'll take it, sure. Uh, Kane, 2270, you want to know about streaming regularly? Um, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to stream for about an hour uh, every day at 11 a.m. is the idea. Uh, kids at school, so this is a good window for me to do it. And I'll have um, an archive on YouTube, so if you're not able to watch it live, you can watch it then. I'm also recording a backup as well. I think it was mud I swam through, I don't think it was sewage. We'll see. This is cool looking. Oh, let's go. Cool. So it's like the that was basically the elevator sequence of Metal Gear Solid, you know. Snake, we have a new intelligence. Bad news. How did you know? You've never exactly been a messenger of joy, so seems that Delta Force was wiped out. Are you serious? It's true. But Delta Force is the best of the army's best. So easily? It means they were outclassed. Weasel. Alright, hi Weasel. Snake? Those mercenaries are on the enemy's payroll. Are all A-list guns. Am I misreading things here? You've been out of action for a while. But I'm out there, and I know what I'm talking about. 
If you're going to take one of them on, give me a buzz. Mm-hmm. Planning to give me advice? That's what I was hired for. It's a policy of mine to earn my keep. Frequency 14118. I want the snake. McBride from the CIA here. Don't underestimate GLF. Okay? They aren't just another rebel group. Their annual revenue from drug and rare metal trafficking is more than $50 million. I like that it is like a specific number. Uh, sorry, guys. I keep going in and out. I apologize for that. I'll uh, still sort of ironing out the technical kinks. So this is the first episode. So be nice, please. And their black, arc- no, their black market arms were financed by that money. All state of the art. Be careful. I'm with the Africa Desk of Ops. I can provide data on not just the GLF, but on things like Gin- Gindran climate, flora, and fauna. Oh, okay, because that's where I am. Okay. Frequency, gotcha. All right. Snake, continue with the mission. Infiltrate the fortress. Got it. That do- he does kind of look like Danny McBride. Or maybe you're talking about me. I don't know. First gain entry to the fortress. Got it. Enemy security should be even tighter than it was in the jungle. Keep your eyes open. Especially for surveillance cameras. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Can I... I wonder if I can sneak under the cameras, like, sidling up against the wall, that kind of deal. Well, that's an easy one. I wish I wish the camera would, like, kind of move up a little bit, like Metal Gear style, but, I mean, I know it's Game Boy, but... See, is this, is this like a bad idea to go up over here? I still don't know why I got that terrible score last time. Like, I just, I, I wonder if it's just punishing me for taking out um, enemies. Yes. All right, let's see. Item. So I have a, a fa- oh, okay. They, I wonder if they, did they not want to call it a cigarette? Is that, was that the idea of being a Game Boy game? So if I keep the ration out, um, that's, um, that helps me if I die, usually, right? That's usually the, the effect. Let's see. Okay. And I have the, I can keep the gun out. I think I want to keep the... I'm going to keep the gun away out for now, because I'm not really having a problem punching dudes. That's going just fine. It's a vape pen. Ooh, cutscene. I guess that door's open for me now. Do I want to go in there? Let's see. Um, I guess. I mean, it's certainly pushing me in that direction. Alright, that dude's getting punched. <laughs> Just like punching next to him violently. Oh, I can go in there. I just assumed it was going to be like a sealed door. Okay. Is this the door? Oh, for so <laughs> I thought it was telling me to get the ammunition before I, t- I misread it, and I was very confused for a moment. I still am not totally sure if I'm supposed to be in here yet. Like, it certainly looked like I could have gone to the right. Punch, punch, punch. I'm sure how I feel about this soundtrack. This seems alright. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, there's a camera in there. Okay. Alright.
if anyone knows, like, that score that I got, that terrible score, if it's related, if it's... If it rewards you for, um... Oh, crap. Not killing enemies, like, I, I'm happy to go that route. Like, I, I'm trying to... I started killing enemies because I wanted to pick up stuff, but, like... I'm full pretty much immediately, so... And I'm not using bullets. So, like, I don't... It doesn't seem like there's a lot of incentive to kill enemies. I mean, there's usually not in Metal Gear. Hmm, my favorite Game Boy Color game. That's a tough question. I have, like, a fondness for... There's this Bomberman Game Boy Color game. I forget what it's called. I, I think it's just called, like, Bomberman Pocket World, maybe, or something like that. That uh, was just... It just happened to be... You know, as it is when you're young, like, the game that came with, that I got when I got my Game Boy Color, like, as a gift, that I played the heck out of. Uh, so, maybe that one just by default, but, like, I, I have favorite Game Boy games. Like, Wario Land is, like, um, my favorite Game Boy game. Um, and, again, that was just because it was, like, one of the first ones I got. I need that gun, man. <laughs> the three right hand jabs. That's like, that's his style, man. That's what Snake does. This area is like much larger than I expected it to be up here. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, this is a door right here, right? Okay. Is that. Hmm, okay. I like, I got. Yeah, you gotta put numbers next to doors for me. Let me know what key card I need, which is one of the things I've been playing Control. It's a very simple thing that I really love about that game is just like. Key cards. Get the key cards. This store has a two by it. You gotta get a, a card that has a two on it. So, Alright, gotcha. Oh, this guy. Punch, punch, punch. I assume, <laughs> I assume that's what Snake is saying out loud. That's part of his training. Alright, okay, that guy's going down there. Alright. I'm gonna go back. I'm heading back where I came from. Hey, Quasimodo. I literally started today. I'm gonna try to do... Uh, I'm gonna try to stream more. Uh, in the in the immediate future, I'm gonna try streaming um, every day at 11 a.m. And we're gonna try to make it through Ghost Babble. That's like my first stream goal, is I want to finish Ghost Babble. Which I keep calling it Ghost Babble because... I mean, the, the American name is just Metal Gear Solid. But I just think that's confusing. Like, I think... To call it Ghost Babble, like, identifies it more specifically as this as this exact game. I guess it is a purple outfit. I mean, they're going for, like, the Metal Gear Grey. But it is very purple. Is this guy going to come all the way around? Or is he going to stop and turn? Uh-oh. Got to give him the old punch, punch, punch. Uh, Hexonomer, I've been to stream for an hour at a time to start, um, but I'm totally open to doing more than that. I mean, if I'm really into something and the stream's going well, I'll certainly keep playing. Oh, crap. That was my first, uh, getting discovered. I feel like that's pretty good. I've been playing for, like, 20 minutes or so. It's the first time someone has seen me. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I got the assault rifle. I could go back and get some of that ammo now, I guess. Oh, thanks, Nick Terry's, though. I miss you guys, too. I mean, I'm not gone. We can still interact and hang out. Let's see. I still haven't used a gun. Let's see. I'm a little aimless right now. I guess I could call Colonel. Alright. Let's see. Let me lay down. So I press select, then start. God, it's... 
this is impressive because this looks just like the um it really looks like the metal gear solid screen i mean thanks in part to the to the playstation one game being pretty pixelated in the screen but it looks really nice <laughs> streaming shenmue 3 um it's certainly yeah i mean maybe we'll see we'll see how this goes Maybe there's a way I can do it with Reiner. Alright, so I gotta get inside. The main gate of the fortress is to the north. Head for the main gate. Okay, so I basically just need to keep heading north. Might as well save while we're here. As long as you have confidence in yourself, you can carry it out. Confidence is the first rule of success, like Emerson said. Emerson? I feel like that's the first time I've heard him repeat the last word of what was spoken to him back as a question. I feel like he hasn't done that a lot so far, which is kind of his thing. No, not exactly. You know, I did take electives in college. I purposefully tried to learn things outside of my major, too. I'd rather be a well-balanced engineer. So that's why you're always quoting. There's a lot to learn from things different people have said. There's a lot to learn from things different people have said. True. I'll make sure you get your exposure, too. Thanks, Mei Ling. God. It's so weird to, like, have the crouch button be start. It just feels weird. I mean, it's not, like, bad, necessarily. Why is this door opening? There we go. It's a lot of whys in my name there, Mystery Room. Oh, this is it. Okay, does that... Am I safe? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, hello. Cool. Alright, I couldn't get up for a second there. Is this a... Uh... Oh, cutscene. <laughs> is anyone out there? Can anyone hear me? This is. Who is this? Didn't don't cut him off. They're about to say. Thank God. This is Sergeant Chris Jenner of Delta Force. Delta Force, a survivor? It wasn't annihilated? No. Who are you? The US rescue team? No, I'm the black sheep you were supposed to work with. Not Foxhound? Solid Snake speaking. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. I think it's just the idea of, like, someone calling and being like, Hi, I'd like to speak with Solid Snake. And then Snake being like, Solid Snake speaking. Yes, what can I help you with today? You! I've heard things about you. What kind of things? The best saboteur ever. The one who destroyed Metal Gear in Outer Heaven. Seven years ago. The legend. She said legend in quotes, so I think she's being sarcastic. Don't believe everything you hear. Some say I'm just an attention-seeking killer. So, which is true. Make up your own mind. Sergeant Jenner, are there any other survivors from the unit besides you? No. Everybody else. I. They're monsters, sir. So that's weird to me. Because monsters, comma, sir, so like... There's supposed to be a space there, but they did want to pause. I don't know. I guess if they added an extra character, it would have pushed into the next screen. Still thinking about editing things a lot, if you can imagine. They, you mean those mercenaries? Yes, especially the leader. A man called Viper. There was nothing we could do, even if it wasn't an ambush. An ambush? The mission was leaked? I don't know, but... Oh, there's McBride, old Danny McBride. This is an absolutely classified mission. There is no way it could have been compromised. Wanna bet? There's always someone who's willing to sell out. Isn't there a weasel in Resident Evil Revelations? Or is that, is that character have a different name? Willing to sell out. What makes an American brass tick, huh? Money, power, glory, women, men? Can it? There is no risk of spies here. Pretty sure, aren't you? Everyone involved in this mission has undergone rigorous background checks. I see. They're all trusted. How about it, Colonel? 
This is a top secret mission. Only a handful of people know of it in the government and the military. I have to agree with McBride. <laughs> All right. Sergeant Jenner is Metal Gear really inside the fortress? Yes, I still don't have the exact location, but the assembly is apparently near completion and the researchers have been confined to another building. Do you have the location of the researchers? I'm sorry. All I know is they're somewhere here. Galuade. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Okay, how did you enter the fortress? Through the drainage system. The drainage system? Bingo. You saw those buildings with recessed east walls? There are hidden access ways down into the ground in those recesses. Building with an indented east wall entry into an underground route in the recess. Got it. I don't know if I got it, honestly. Get yourself back there and get out of here. No, I'm staying here. No, you're not. I have no time to babysit a brownie. You get out. No. Sergeant, I will not abandon the mission, but I have to finish this. For your fallen comrades? That's a lot of ellipses. Even more. Snake, having an ally in the field could be useful. Please, sir. Alright. You've got guts. I'll grant you that. Thank you. Hmm. Well, well, wheel. Sorry. <laughs> Just being like, well, we'll run <laughs> inside the fortress. In the meantime, gather as much intel as possible. Got it. You watch out for your own back until then, of course. And no cowboy axe. I know that. And one other thing, yes. Can I call you Chris? We don't know each other that well. We can easily change that. As comrades in arms, that's up to you. Okay, my frequency, got it. Ask me if you have any questions about the fortress. Okay, Chris. Good luck, Snake. All right, Snake. Look for a way into the duct Sergeant Jenner was talking about. Go to the building with a recessed east wall and get underground from the concealed entry point in the recess. Oh, thanks, Ace Karsh. Hello. Thank you all for watching with me. I appreciate it. Or not watching with me, I guess, watching me play. Are these guys facing away? Okay, he's sleeping. Huh. I am probably safe to, like, go there, right? Like, they're not going to see me, right? Where should I go? Also, this, like, find the building with the recess recessed east wall. That's, like, really broad, I feel like. Can't punch lockers. Can I interact with them at all or anything? Can I sit down? I can't knock. Oh. Oh. oh, I can knock. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Rockapy. I don't think I <laughs> kept you guys waiting. Uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't been that long. Had to wait for my kid to start school. Started school today. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Okay. Also, what does a res recessed east wall mean? It's just like... Like, I, I kind of feel like I should head east, but only because, you know, they said the word east a bunch. I don't necessarily know if that means the building is to the east. Alright, nothing in there. I do have a new gun. Let's see. I mean, I guess this... I guess what I just have to do is explore this area and just look for a building with a wall on the, the right side that just looks weird, right? I mean, that's recessed, I guess I just... Or is it, like, kind of underground a little bit or something? See, like, even that, like, that building right there, is that a recessed east wall? Oh, yeah, the Martian Gothic one. I was only on, like, two of those, I think. Or something. It wasn't, it wasn't many. That was a trip, man. That game was insane. I don't envy Tim having to play that game at all. Let's 
So that wasn't the... Okay. So there aren't that many building buildings. So maybe that's like one thing to keep an eye on is because there aren't that many buildings. See, is that a recessed east wall? Okay. See, this seems promising here. Because that's like, I want to get down. And there's a ladder there. Do I have to enter it? Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's the door. Okay. I got it. Ooh. Uh, I can totally knock out dudes out. Watch this. Punch, 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 baby. I haven't even pulled out a gun yet. Are they calling me to give me a hint, even though I, like, just figured it out? Snake, you need card one to open that door. Oh, okay. Card one should be in that truck to the northwest. Okay. Okay. So that's the right way to go. This is it. This is the building I need to get into. And then northwest is... I, I know my cardinal directions. There's something satisfying about, like, Metal Gear 1, 2, and 3 before the, all the subsistence updates of, like, north just being, like, north. And not having full camera control, you know? Is that it? Am I in the northwest area? Okay, those are... My pouches are full. Ferb77, yeah, thanks for watching. I, That's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to, to um, stream this one, because it's, like, not super well known, but it's it's supposed to be good. Um... And I, I don't really know because I haven't played it a lot, but like it's supposed to be like a, a solid Metal Gear on a handheld game. And I wanted to stream something that wasn't like... Oh, that's right, sweet. I, was, I wanted to stream something that I knew like not a lot of people would streaming, and I wanted to stream something from my backlog that I wanted to play, you know? Is this... So what is this then? Am I getting lost here? Gosh, I wonder if there's like a little boss fight in here at some point or something. No, I still gotta go through the trucks. Uh oh, box puzzles. Oh. See, I don't know if I'm really necessarily in the northwest fully yet. Are you. Oh, okay, well, let's see, I'm up. See, at this point, I just feel like I'm kind of trying every truck, you know? Tried these two, right? Nothing there. And that. Did I get that one? Isn't this. This is ammo or something? Oh, that, okay, yeah. Can I go this way? Oh, look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. I feel like I'm in the middle. Can I go through here? Is this a... Okay. Can I go through here? There we go. Alright. See, this feels more westerly. Ooh, hello. Uh. Mm. I wonder if you can see me through the fence. I wonder, is the idea that those are like chain link right here? I assume so. So I'm watching the dot. Alright, I think I'm good to go. This guy's gonna get punched. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Happy sleeping. Mm, okay. I definitely feel like I'm heading northwest at this point, so that's good. I gotta find that building again. Punch, punch, punch. 
help. Is it gonna be clear? I wonder if it's gonna be a card or if it will just be like this. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, I hadn't really thought about the truck size until you guys mentioned that. But that's kind of absurd. Like, they seem normal until you go inside. Alright, that... I gotta be close at this point, right? There's gotta be a truck up here. Oh, this dude's getting punched. Sorry, dude. No trucks here? Ugh. Is there an exit? Okay, don't need that. I, yeah, I tried that truck already. These aren't trucks, are they? Can I go under them? That's such a bummer to me that I can't go underneath them. Oh, is that a camera up there? Is there... Oh, it's a dude. Okay. That's fine. The cameras I'm, like, more wary of because I can't punch, punch, punch them. <laughs> Three punch, man. I think in Metal Gear Solid 2 he does... Punch, punch, kick, right? Or is that Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2? He does punch, punch, kicks? Dude, you're asleep! That's not fair. Oh, crap. Oh, is this gonna work? I think I just gotta punch my way out of here. Oh! Three punch, man. This is a dangerous move. I don't know if there's a way out of here. Okay. There's gotta be a truck up here, right? I mean, this is like as northwesterly as I can get. That's gotta be it, right? That seems promising. <laughs> Yay, I'm a guard. There we go. Key card. Sweet. Uh, the Smack. I have not played the MSX games. Um... Oh, you make noise when you step on the grates? Oh. I feel dumb. I mean, I totally should have known that. I have played plenty of Metal Gear games. That makes sense. Okay. Now I gotta find that... Mm. This is kind of a roundabout way that I got here. Can you do the, like, the tap on the grates, I wonder? Um, the music. It seems okay. It's not really standing out to me as being super exciting or anything yet. I like it, though. It's it's moody, which I like. Who saw me? That's not fair. Ugh. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Sorry about that. Down and start messes with the Retron. Oh, there's those crates. Ah, oh, crap. Do I, I might need to break out the gun at this point. Alright, how am I doing on life? Okay, I'm just gonna run, man. I should be fine. See, now, if I get a terrible score on this level, like, I get it. Like, I'm with you, game. I still just don't understand how that first area, I, I got a terrible score. Yeah, I mean, the music, it, it's kinda... I don't fault it for being repetitive, necessarily. That's just kinda, like, the era. But I like, I like that it's kind of creepy. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe they didn't see him as much as a th of as much of a threat. They didn't really feel the need to to shoot him. They just was like we could just hit him. Let's ask him some questions. We're not a shoot first, ask later kind of team here. Okay, I th is that it? Am I already back at the building? Oh, hello. Okay, let's 
let's see. Item. There we go, look at that. Progress. I want to get my rations back out. Okay. okay. Well, we gotta... Get them all wet. The wet... Does why leave footprints or something? There's no way that's just there for no reason, right? Terrible! <laughs> what dictates the score? That's rank. It's got to be enemies, right? So if I don't... I, being found, I get. Like, that was pretty rough. I got found five times. That sucked. I didn't use any rations, though. It's got to be killing enemies. Whatever. I don't care. Get a call. Chris, I'm at the duct entrance. Where are you? In the building right above the duct you're in. Pretty near. I'm about to find out what I can he what I can hear. How? I got an enemy trooper uniform. It should let me blend in and listen in. Chris, don't worry. I'll find out where the researchers are. Don't overdo it. I know. I'll go up to your floor and we'll rendezvous there. I'll be disguised so no codec contact. Make boy contact. Make voice contact when I'm alone. Mm -hmm. Alright. But aren't you wearing the same uniform as the enemy? How am I supposed to spot you among all the enemy soldiers? What about my hairstyle? I have my hair tied up at the back. You should be able to recognize me from that, okay? Hairstyle, huh? Even among the GLF soldiers, there are heaps of guys with long hair. Yeah, you're right. Okay, um, how about if I wear a red cap? Alright. If I see a soldier wearing a red cap with hair tied up at the back, it must be you. Got it. Right, Snake, see you soon. Okay, so I got to call Chris. It does... <laughs> uh, surgeability, it really does feel like... It's like, okay, now we're getting into a Metal Gear game. Okay. Rendezvous with, rendezvous with Sandra Jenner. She's in the watchtower above. Get through the duct and gain entry to the tower. Oh, thanks. Give me some health. Oh, I like this music now. Okay. Oh. Alright, I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna try to get through this level, I guess you could say, without killing anybody. Just because I'm curious if that dictates the score. Or the rank, I guess I should say. See, now, here's a question. Does that count as being discovered? If I just get a little a little blip. See, I'm worried about all this, like... Is this water? Like, am I splashing if I do this? Okay, it seems like that's the case, yeah. Which is cool. I'm into that. And is this a... Uh... Okay. Okay, let's see. They were facing the other way here a second ago. Oh, I don't think they are. Okay. That's... Man, you can get pretty dang close without getting caught. Is it really? Oh, it sounds like a recycled Kesame. I thought you were saying with confidence that it was, which wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Alright. So, these are puddles that are, like, setting them off. But I wonder if... Can I do the, like, the creep thing? Okay. Because that was like the Metal Gear Solid 1 thing, right, on the grate, is you can tap, and... God, you looked really stupid, but I thought it was clever. Ooh, rats. Rats? So that means they're running from something, probably. Okay, is that a camera? That's a camera. Oh, tricky. Okay. So I go down, but I'll wake up the guy. I want to try. I, like I said, I'm trying to. I, I want to beat this level without killing anybody or knocking them out. I mean, I wasn't really killing anybody.
Sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> this feels like a lead up to a boss or something. Is this like the pain, but with like rats? Wasn't there a Ninja Turtle villain that was all about rats? The Rat King or something like that? I like this. This this feels like Metal Gear. Like creeping through there just above, that really felt Metal Geary. What is this? Okay. What is that supposed to be? Are you still hanging around there? Here? You've already been ordered to withdraw from this area. Withdrawal? I haven't heard anything about that. What's going on? There's a squall coming. The river's already flooded, and there's going to be a whole lot of water around here soon. First I heard of it. Merda, if I stayed here. I believe that is French for the S word. If I'd stayed here, you get the idea. Come on, there's no time to lose. There was more to exp Ugh. There's more to explore, like... There's that ladder there. I gotta find Chris, you guys. Okay, so I can't... Alright, that's weird. I guess that's like a locked door or something. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I want to read all the dialogue, because that's like the best way for me to actually engage with it and internalize it and everything, but uh, if that's annoying, like, please tell me to stop. I don't think... I, I'm getting the sense that it's not a big deal. Okay, so is this like... Alright, I think I got it. So I, I'm guessing I have to like... Dodge... Like hide behind the big piles of I'm choosing to call them leaves. Can I go up here? Let's see, I think I have a pretty good... Let's see. Or do I climb the ladders? I guess we'll find out. Alright, so I gotta climb ladders, I guess. Oh boy. Alright, I should wait this one out. Here we go, here we go. Get the ladder. Woo! It's weird that I'm like safe in there. Is that it? Okay. Did that do. Oh, that does do damage. Okay, that's good to know. Alright. Yeah, hang on to the ladders, that's the trick. That's cool, I like this. Hmm, alright, I guess I just go straight. Um, the smack asked, would a Resident Evil game like this work? I mean, there was one in development. There was what it took place on like a um, a cruise ship, I think, and you played as Leon, uh, and it was I think it was canceled or maybe it did come out. Am I crazy? Oh, thanks. Sl sl slimed, slimed. Let's go with slimed. I appreciate it, man. Oh, I thought maybe I was supposed to keep going. Gaiden. Okay, yeah, Resident Evil Gaiden. Yeah, I had never played it. I thought maybe there was one that was canceled, though. Take rendezvous with Sergeant Jenner. Yep, got it. She should be somewhere in the tower with you. Remember that she's disguised. Contact her when she's alone so that the enemy won't be alerted. She has long hair tied up in the back and is wearing a red cap. I know, long hair tied up at the back in a red cap. No problem. They sure are repeating that a lot, so that I definitely know what I'm supposed to be looking for. It's fine. I appreciate the hand-holding. Alright, this green cap. You're useless to me. Maybe I should play Resident Evil Gaiden after Metal Gear. Just have, like, a weird forgotten Game Boy ports of M-rated franchise theme, I guess? Is that a good theme? Is that a theme? Alright, there we go. 
Sneaky, sneaky. So I've only seen one red cap so far. <laughs> That's good game design. That's awful camera placement just in general. If you're like a... Uh-oh. Let's see. Do I need my key card? Uh, I actually... You know what? Uh, it's a Game Boy Advance game, but I think even I saw someone on Twitter suggesting Drill Dozer, which I think would be fun. I would like to go back and play Drill Dozer. I don't know if that counts as an obscure Game Boy game, but I love that game. Here we go. I'm keeping the ration out just because, I, I mean, I'm assuming that's like... Um, how it works in other game, Metal Gears, where it's like, as long as you have it out... If your health drops down, you um, it automatically redeems itself. Oh, that's just a little hiding spot. That's cool. <laughs> that's gonna be annoying. Sorry about that. If you hit down and start with a retron, it it takes you to the menu. So because not a lot of games usually integrate the start button as a uh, as a gameplay button. See, now I got I got dodge these vents. Thanks for the tip. Alright, purple cap. That's a no-go. Ooh, can I get past this person? Hamtaro Ham Hams Unite for the Game Boy Color. That was... My sister played the hell out of the game. I remember it. That was like... That was a big one for her. Gosh, you know, I think I beat Mortal Kombat on Game Boy. Speaking of awful... Game Boy fighting games. I can invite Serial over. We can play them together. Have I already been over here? Is this where I came from? Or is this new? Okay, that's a red cap, but no tied up hair. And I don't think there's anyone else here. Is there anything worth exploring up here? That's some ammo I don't need. Okay. God, the layout is a little confusing. Have I been there? You know, I'm just gonna... I'll keep the key card out. I mean, Serial's good at fighting games. Even crappy Game Boy ones, I'm sure he would be great. this what's happening yeah answer the call oh snake gas <laughs> all right thanks you've got to hold your breath in the gas your o2 gauge will go down and once it runs out your life will take a hard hit Go look for the mask first. All right, so I'm I'm not supposed to be in here. That's for sure. It's fine. There's other places to go. Is that, I guess that camera doesn't move. I guess I just can't walk in front of it. What's going on here? Looks like there's an infrared sensor rigged there. The alarm will go off if you break the beam. The infrared wavelength is invisible to the human eye, but it should be detectable if the beam passes through vapors or smoke. Do you have anything that can produce smoke or gas? I do. I have my vape pen, you guys. The old solid snake vape pen. Oops. I went through all the trouble of getting it out and using it and just immediately walked into Oh, uh, okay. So that's a green cap with a ponytail. Oh, 
is that camera gonna go? That's, the camera can't go past the door, right? Okay, thank god. That was a risky... The old risky business. Uh, Fleming... Fleming Queso. I have not beat Control yet, um, but I really love it. Um... I, I, certainly my favorite game that I've played so far this year. I haven't beaten it, though, so that could change. Um, but man, there's just so much I like about it. Just, like, the the sort of the structure, the, the oldest house, reminds me of, like, the last hour of Inside. I feel like I'm just, like, exploring that facility again. Uh, and it's awesome. And the shooting is so good, and I love that, like, like, like little things. I love that I'm not like collecting different types of guns. I just like that I have one gun that can sort of morph and change. Like stuff like that. I really I just love it. It it actually reminds me of like anime in a lot of ways because it's like a lot of sitting down and talking to characters and they'll say a word you've never heard of or an acronym and then they just explain to you what that means. Which I feel like that happens in anime all the time where it's just like, oh, you don't know what this is? Let me explain it to you in detail. soldiers around here. Is this a door? Okay. Okay, no cameras or anything. I should be good. What's this? Oh, sweet. I got the mask. That was quick. I thought it would take me longer. I think the shooting and control feels a lot better than Quantum Break, honestly. going to play Blitter Witch? I don't know. I'm more interested in playing... Oh! Crap. Um, you guys distracted me. I'm blaming you. Um, I'm more interested in playing... Um, uh, what's the Platinum game? Um, that I can't think of the name right now. God. Um, that's like, after I play Control, that's what I want to play. And by the way, I'm like totally happy to stream those games. Uh, I just like... I was trying to... For Metal Gear, I just... Like I explained a little bit at the start, I just wanted to play something weird and obscure um, that not a lot of other people would be streaming. I'm sure a lot of people are out there streaming Control right now. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Blair Witch, we'll see. Astral Chain, thank you. Yes, Astral Chain is what I want to play next after Control. Um, so I don't know. We'll see about Blair Witch. I'm not like a... I did love the Blair Witch that we played on what ended up being... Uh, my final episode of replay um, like that was insane uh, but I don't like have a lot of love for the mythos of the Blair Witch or anything and um, I don't know if it's my type of horror I like I like which is nothing I like about con control in that it's just creepy I love creepy uh, but I don't really like like getting chased through the woods by monsters and stuff uh, necessarily. Like, I mean, it, it depends on the game, obviously, but... I know I have this gas mask. I guess I'll go use that. Wait, is this... This is where the gas was, right? Okay. I was about to say. Let's see. Okay. God, Chris is being hard to find. Do I have to punch this guy? I'm surprised that loud beeping didn't set him off. Okay. This is a good spot. Do I have my gas mask on? Oh crap. I thought the- so I guess I'm not invulnerable necessarily. 
Oh boy. Jeez, okay. I guess I misunderstood. I just thought the gas mask would make me totally, like, fine. Guess not. Oh, level two, sweet. So I guess the gas mask just makes it go down slower? Is that the idea? I don't want any guns out. Okay. Man, I don't want to wait around for that guy. So is that a level two door up there? Where is he? do this old trick. Oh, wait, no, no, that old trick won't work. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Since I'm kind of low on health from the O2 stuff, I just wasn't paying. I really, yeah, I was not watching that meter. <laughs> yeah, the game looks nice. Like, I, I, the, I thought the gas effect looked pretty good. There's a soldier. Okay, green hat. Is there a door over here? I don't love having to take out the key card. Let's see. Alright, there we go. You don't even know how to use a ration, actually, now that I. Now that it comes to a time where I might need to use one. The elevator's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's remarking on the band aid animation. It is super good. Up, oh, sure. I wanted to find. Oh man, this looks cool. This it they, they looks like I'm going up an elevator. Impressive. Alright, I'm gonna play till I find Chris. That's what I'd like to do. Okay, red hat, no ponytail though. Ah, shoot. Ah, nope. Nope, <laughs> okay. I've, I don't know, I thought maybe. Okay. Three punch man time. Nope, stop shooting me. And take some punches. Alright, we'll just chill. Really, Rock Party? That's where you draw the line is elevator buttons? There we go. See, now my score is probably terrible because I killed like four dudes. See here. It's like a giant spiral. What am I doing here? Let's see. All right, there's blue hat ponytail. No, okay. Am I visible there? I guess I'll find out. Ugh, <laughs> oh, man. I might need to punch Green Hat. We'll see. Oh, I have a gun out. I don't want the gun out. Let's see. Alright, there we go. Let's see what they do. Well, I guess I could hide in there. Alright, yeah, I'll let them pass. Or maybe I didn't need to.
I guess they're... They're gone? I don't know where they went. I mean, I don't think she, I don't think she's in here, right? I mean... Or is it a... Let's see. Okay. That was the person I was running from earlier. Watch, watch, watch! Sorry. I don't know who I'm apologizing to necessarily. I think my score is already terrible. Come on, red hat point tail. Nope. Is there an exit out of here? Okay, there's oh, that's point tail at least. Yep. Okay, I, I do like I like this kind of stuff. Okay, let's see. Got my vape pen. What the heck? That didn't set off an alarm? They come and go? Is that? I guess it turns on and off. All right, so that's why I wasn't getting caught. Okay. Hey, beating down, Brian. Is this the only exit out of here? Red hat? No. Mm. Oh wait, I should stop smoking. Okay. <laughs> oh man, come on. If I if you fall asleep and I step out, like that's it, right? Go left. Oh, cool. I'm into that. Dang it. Does this mean I have to, like, I have to go all the way back? Do this again. <laughs> All right. Boop. There better be another door up here, or something. All right, fine. Do I have the thing for this? Let's see. There's another door, though. Am I safe to just walk past these? Or should I... Eh, I guess I should be safe. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I did. So satisfying to, to get that little bling. There we go. We found her, you guys. I think she's alone, right? No response. Really? Okay. So that's Chris, right? Red hat, ponytail. I thought I was supposed to call her. Just go to her? All right. Oh, okay. 
Weird. I thought I thought I had to wait till she was alone and then call her. Yeah, whatever. Follow me. This is Game Boy Color, yeah. Terrible. I mean... <laughs> found three times. Six enemies killed. One rations used. I don't know. I mean, how many enemies did I dodge, though? Someday I won't be terrible. We can hope, at least. Alright, so we got a cutscene here, I think, probably. Cutscene in quotes. We won't have to worry about the guards here. Great. Good. We can talk. Oh, cool. I'm into this. Oh, man. She looks like uh, Aerith. Or Eris. Whatever you want to call her. What is it? Sorry, it's just that you're easier on the eyes than any other Delta Force operator I've met. Is that your idea of a compliment? Absolutely. Anyway, what did you find out? Plenty. Only one researcher is left. James Harks, a.k.a. Jimmy the Wizard. Head of Metal Gear development team. Supposed to be a genius. Get his location. Uh-huh. There are barracks to the north of this building. He seems to be held there. And the barracks to the north of here? Got it. One more thing. There are four mercenaries working as GLF's, milita GLF's military consultants. Okay, so these are the major... These are the bosses, right? That's pretty cool looking. Slasher Hawk. That is a Mega Man X enemy, isn't it? Let's see. Signature weapon is a giant boomerang. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'm thinking of Storm Eagle. I thought that was like a slasher or something or other. Uh, let's see. Marionette Owl. Expert assassin and master of nocturnal combat. All right, got it. Pyro Bison. <laughs> These are Mega Man X enemies. Like they're a hundred percent. His own scorched earth tactics with a massive flamethrower. Whew. And their leader, Blackheart Viper. Viper, poisonous snake. They first appeared on the scene around two years ago. Made a round of hot, made a round of hot spots around the world before they set up in Gindra. They're very, very good. Rumor has it they're their former U.S. Special Forces. American? That was good work in a pretty short time. I tried my best. Was that good enough proof for you? Let's just say you convinced me you don't need me babysitting. What else? Anything wrong? Um, yes. Like the fact that we Americans are not welcome around here? Why? They think that the U.S. is blocking their independence. That the deployment of peacekeepers is an armed invasion to extend U.S. control over Gindra. That's why they have such faith in the general. And who wants to end U.S. interference and win independence? I thought our mission was for the good of the people of this country. But what we're doing may be... Chris, why did you join the military? What? Well, maybe because I wanted something concrete. Something concrete, like justice or discipline. All the things we need to keep going. Chris, the only thing you need on a battlefield to keep going is the instinct to keep living. Yeah. I don't want you to die, but... Think about completing the mission, about going home alive first. Yes, I guess so. I will, for now. Such a good speech giver, Snake. I'm going after Harks. He must have some valuable information on Metal Gear. Okay, I'll open the doors with my card three. You can trail me. Chris. What? You're going to be okay? Don't worry. With this outfit on, no one will spot me. That's not what I meant. I know, thanks. Ladies first. Am I gonna be, do I have to trail her for a while? Is she, I wonder, she put her hat on probably.
So how do I get past that camera? <laughs> Snake the disappointed parent. Snake rescued James Harks, the chief of Metal Gear development team. Harks is held in the barracks to the north of the watchtower you're in. First, follow Sergeant Jenner's lead and get to the north side of the tower. Cool. All right. That's it for today, you guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope the stream went okay. Uh, I was keeping an eye on it. I hope it didn't cut out too much and everything. And um, like I said, my goal is to... I want to beat Metal Gear Ghost Babble. Um over the course of this week, maybe into next week a little bit. And I'll have uh, an archive up on my YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for sticking around, guys. I appreciate it. It's so nice to hear from everybody. It's been a tough couple weeks, obviously, after getting uh, laid off, which was very surprising and unexpected. Uh, so thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it. <laughs>